I did a video earlier about a Ned rig fishing. I talked about the salt shaker worm, and I want to talk about just specifically the salt shaker worm from Big Hammer Lures right now. And the main technique I throw it on now is the Ned rig. Like I was talking about, you guys probably, I don't know if you guys have watched that video or not, but I just take a, basically I throw a sixth ounce, this is just for example, a sixth ounce Z-Man Ned head right here, and I'll go, depending on the depth of the water I'm fishing, I'll go lighter, I'll go heavier, but I like to keep contact with the bottom with this technique. So I'll take it, <clears throat> I'll take the salt shaker worm, and I'll talk about my favorite colors in it and everything else, and the size I like to throw on the Ned rig, they make two different sizes that I like to throw, and there's a 5 inch and a 4 inch, and the 5 inch is what I prefer. It's a little bigger profile. I use the 4 inch more on a drop shot. It don't seem to work as well unless it's really, really clear water. And then a lot of smallmouth, they seem to like the smaller lures. But I like to use it a lot on Kentucky bass or spotted bass. They really like it. And the largemouth eat it as well too. But if you really have spotted bass, they love this bait along with the smallmouth. And the 5 inch here, this one that I'm showing right now is a green pumpkin. That's a about everybody's go-to color everybody loves green pumpkin I'm a green pumpkin guy and I will throw it I kind of like to dip that tail and a little bit of chartreuse there if I'm throwing the green pumpkin it gets a little bit of action something different for the bass to see and then I will also throw a watermelon red and I throw the watermelon red when the water is more clear say 10 foot plus vis visibility maybe even more than that Right there is the watermelon red. It's a real clear watermelon. And I always, I like to throw reds in about everything I throw. That red seems to get them to bite better and seem to have a little more visual to it. And now my favorite color I enjoy throwing, and that's about anything with about three foot or plus visibility. That's when I like throwing the salt shaker worm on the Ned Rig. Or even on a drop shot is when the water is about three plus visibility. I haven't really had that much luck with it in the dirty water like I have in this clear water it seems to be more of a visual bait and I throw it right there is the green pumpkin red and that is probably my most thrown color right there it's got more of it's got a green pumpkin but it's got more of a pumpkin color to it I'm a real big thrower I like throwing the pumpkins they seem to be something that's not thrown by a lot of anglers so it gives the bass something they have not seen that is what I like about the salt shaker, and that's why I throw it on the Ned rig, and I'm going to show you how I rig it here in a second. I rig this one a little different. You know, the Ned rig, most people put it up there, and they leave the hook exposed. That's what I like about the salt shaker worm, is I'll take it, and I'll hook it right here through the nose, and I'll bring it back through, and then I'll bring it up, and these Ned, the hook's got a little keeper right here, and I'll spin it around, and then I'll bring it actually back through the salt shaker worm. And I will bring it all the way back through. And you got to spin it there. That one got kind of crooked going in there. And you want to get it lined up. And then I bring it back and I actually skin hook it like so. Just like that. And that one there, let me re-rig that one. That one got a little twisted on me. You don't want to bring it too much up when you bring it in. If you get too much, then you'll get twisted there. Just kind of nose hook it, and then bring it up, twist it over, then bring it back through. And I like to skin hook it like that. And now you might ask why I want to skin hook it. And I fish this with a lot of brush piles and around rock piles. And I don't want to get hung up, especially in the brush piles. That's where I started doing this. That's where I found it. And like I said, you just skin hook it right there like that. And then it's weedless. And you bring it through the brush piles. And that's why I throw that salt shaker worm is because of its tail. You get in the brush piles there, if you can see it there. Yeah, there it is. Back it up a little bit, and that tail just likes to sit there and droop, and that, it'll sit there, and it'll float in that water, and it just sits there, and when you shake it, you barely shake it, and that tail just moves like that. It just enthuses them bass to actually get in and bite it. Say if they're watch, sitting there watching it, and then you sit there and you shake it a little bit, and it gets a kind of a reaction strike out of them. That's what I like throwing about the salt shaker worm is it's something they have not actually seen. It's a little different. I like to throw baits that are a little different than what other people are throwing. So you're not throwing the exact same thing as everybody else. And that helps get some of those bites that the others cannot get. 
like I said, there's a, there's a four inch and there's a five inch, and I like to throw the four inch. I don't have a drop shot rigged up right here, but I'll throw the four inch on the drop shot, and you can even throw the five inch on the drop shot. Anywhere there's a lot of small mouth, and like I said, visibility, they, they eat the salt shaker worm, and same way with Kentucky bass, they love it. So if you go out next time, the biggest thing is throwing it on the Ned rig. That is something that is not really taken off yet. I guess it might be because the Ned rig's new. And a lot of people know to rig it. A lot of people don't know about the Big Hammer Salt Shaker Worm, so that's where I'm making everybody aware of it. Their most Big Hammer's mainly known for making swim baits, but they make an amazing worm here that's called the, the Salt Shaker Worm. And you'll see when you get out there, if you start shaking it, that tail action on it is just absolutely amazing. You'll start catching bass on it, and then you'll be hooked on it. Just go out next time and try it on the Ned Rig and see how you do. And also, before you go, go down below the page and hit subscribe and let me know you're watching. So I can start posting some more videos, start getting some more subscribers if you would please. And I'll be fishing the Bassmaster Opens next year, the Central Opens. I got the first one the 1st of April at Lewis Smith Lake. That ought to be a fun event with the small, or the 